Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I noticed a uh, pattern regarding this uh, um, issue that I will discuss in this video with uh, the mass media and the Ukrainian weasels. Not the Ukrainian weasels, uh, with um, the handlers of the Ukrainian nation, which are the Zhmihals, Zelensky, Zelenskys, uh, Yernikovs, and Yermaks. And they do this when there is a um, supposedly a debate somewhere uh, in NATO chancelleries about providing with Ukraine with more weapons, defensive weapons and all that, then the Ukrainians, these guys, start making statements like, oh my God, we are losing, the Russians are so strong, we need more weapons, oh, they're getting ready now to use this, they're going to be ready to, get, to use this kind of weapons, we are dead and it's because of you. And then after they get something delivered, they say, wow, man, that worked so good, man. Send us some more. Very good. Yes, we blew the Russians are just piece of shit, man. They have a bullshit army weapons that are 3000 years old. They use bats still to fight and throw rocks and all that and all the slingshots. That's what they do. Now, when they again, they need something and they always need something because that's the way these four guys are. Remember? They always need something. Uh, then again, oh my God, we're losing. We need airplanes. We need tanks. Without them, uh, you know, uh, we die. And uh, you know whose fault that is? Yours. So this is what these weasels has, have been doing for the past nine months. Now, again, they are in talks that uh, they should be provided with Patriot missile systems, defense missile systems. And they, they say it's going to be operated by the Ukrainians because the Ukrainians will be able to handle uh, and learn uh, to use them in about uh, three seconds. Okay, BS from A to Z. Nevertheless, the idiots will uh, swallow that, uh, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So, anything that these guys are giving them, they will swallow. So, here we have an article from uh, the New Voice of Ukraine and they tell us that without probably Patriot mi missile systems, they will be all blown up. Why? Because of this. And I'm going to give you the news. New Voice of Ukraine today, 30th of November 2022. Russia gets ready for another strike at Ukraine's infrastructure, intelligence says. And we believe it. Uh, yesterday and the day before, this guy Zelensky, uh, the kosher guy, came and said, hey, uh, you know why the Russians right now uh, don't um, strike us with any, you know, they don't sell, send any, you know, missiles and anything, because, not because they don't have them anymore, because that would kill their uh, um, push for receiving more from the West. They say, no, nah, but they are getting ready now. They, they are fixing everything ready to start again the demolition of our civilian infrastructure. And if someone, you don't help us, we all are gonna die. This is how the story goes, okay? This one like two days ago, I was like, hmm, until, until uh, two days ago, the Ukrainians were saying, well, we should not give the Russians whatsoever, no stop, no stop, because they, we will just get them without weapons. They will not have weapons from now on because they're already, are, their st stockpile is diminishing, diminishing and diminishing. Okay, now no, actually it's not diminishing, they just get ready to blow us all up. Yeah, and the guys I said, they just swallow it with no problem. Russia gets ready for another strike at Ukraine's infrastructure, intelligence says. So guys, uh, can you give us, uh, if they're getting ready, get, do you have a date, a time? Uh, would be within a certain kind of uh, time frame next week the whole week next month next uh, decade something we'll see maybe they tell us moscow is probably that fucked up everything already probably stockpiling missiles and updating its target lists for another missile massive missile attack on ukraine's power grid main intelligence directorate of the defense ministry of ukraine said on november Hey, buddy, if you are in the intelligence business, you have the information or you don't have the information. If you have the information, that means you have documents, uh, recordings, people who would report to you that, hey, Russians, this is the order. We're going to do this because we're going to do that. 
that's how it goes. It's not like the general comes and say, guys, you know, uh, hey, you stockpile some over there. I don't know yet. I'm not going to tell you for what. You just do it over there. You just do it over there. I mean, that's the information you got that these guys are doing that. And then you start probably. Then what the fuck information is that? Intelligence bullshit. No, they're doing that because, I don't know, winter comes and they just want to make sure their, their weapons are winterized. How about that? No? Mm, can be possible? No. So you need more information than that. You need to, to, to say, hey, the order was order 3429-A, fuck off B. You know, all that order, you should know about it. You should have it. And then you give it to other people from different sources. And, hey, yes, indeed, these guys are stockpiling for this reason. Do you think these guys are going to codify it? Hey, you just uh, stockpile like, uh, behind that tree over there, behind that little hill, you know, you know the hill that we talked about, the one that, uh, okay, that over there. Fuck no. But anyway, what do we know? You know, just weasels. We don't know shit. And I'm quoting. First, they are examining the damage already done to our sites that were hit. They can do it as they go. They can chew and gum while they walk. Come on, what the fuck? They go, let's assess. Stop everything, guys. We're going to assess now because we can't assess while they get information. How in the fuck they get information? From a satellite and from the territory. How do you get information? Jesus Christ. And from whatever you, 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 you blew up with your cameras. Because, you know, the, some, anyway, man, it's just uh, some, some uh, uh, missiles have cameras. And so you see where the fuck they're going. And you just use it. So when they go over there with the coordinates, you know if it blew up that or no. And that's registered somewhere. Uh, objective number 3229 was hit. Back is over there. It's not a guy who's going to look and say, okay, check, uh, uh, a check, a uh, uh, check. No, those things are already uh, automatically registered. So when a, a, uh, an objective is hit, it's all already going into the program where it says, yes, uh, missile, uh, I don't know, let's say uh, Tocha missile or whatever, hit uh, that uh, whatever it was programmed on. On or off? On. Boom. Check mark. The computer always goes in. Do you think there's going to be a person who's going to be like, oh, let me see what was that again? Oh, yeah, they hit it. Yes. I don't, uh, that's been, I don't know, in 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s at the most. First, they are examining the damage already done to our sites that were hit. Okay, MID, Minister of Intelligence Department spokesman Vadim Skibitsky. I haven't heard about you, Skibitsky. Eskibitsionistule. I haven't heard about you. Told Ukrainian TV broadcasters. Second, ooh, new targets and areas for future strikes are being examined and examined. And finally, they are getting, gathering missiles and preparing them for combat use, which take some time. You know, if there would be one singer, th this comes from one person. You can, you, you can by this guy's, this, by this guy's statement, you can realize this statement comes from one person. Why? Because he thinks it's one person who's going to do A, and after that one person uh, did A, is going to move into B, or second part and after figure that out goes to see the third one but if you have three persons they can work in parallel first is going to be the assessment second one is going to be the piling stockpiling and the third one looking at the whatever that needs to be to be hit based on the first one's observation which was done probably in the same time as they conducted the airstrikes i said three people but do you think there's only three people they're departments working on this but he thought like a like one human being you know mm. That's how you find in the Bible about slavery. And you say, hey, wait a second, in the, Bible, in the Old Testament, and not only. Uh, uh, you know, and you say, wait, in the New Testament? Yeah, go and serve your master. Remember that one? When, uh, hey, master, what should I do? Uh, if I, should I? I said, well, just go and serve your master, and then you're going to serve the other master. Uh, what do you mean? Do you condone uh, slavery? Uh, mm -mm. So in the Old Testament, the same way. You can figure out all those things that are over there. They were not by a divinity ahead of our, you know, uh, intelligence it was done by a human being who uh, obviously supported uh, the the slavery and all that because it's all about slavery and taking slaves here take the slaves they take uh, virgins from there take virgins from them after you kill everybody it's in Old Testament numerous times so you know that means wait a second so this guy who supposedly told a human being what to do by divine inspiration that's all his, uh, his Bible written by divine inspiration 
So he, he did not know that slavery was a, a bad thing or I don't know, committing genocide was a bad thing or getting the virgins uh, was a bad thing. I mean, a weasel thing. N no. So <laughs> that tells you the human aspect in all these things. And then with this guy, he tells us, oh, you first do this and then you first do this and you first do this because he's thinking as one human being thinking, how can I do it? Not like departments. And these are the uh, adversaries of Russia. This, this kind of level of people. Unfucking believable. In total, Moscow has carried out seven large scale missiles, missile and drone attacks against Ukraine's energy infrastructure since October 10th. 10, he says here? No, seven. Seven since October. They said they will have three more. So after three more, Russia is done. That's what they said in previous uh, articles. By November 29th, Ukraine is still facing a 30% deficit in generation capacity in its power grid with rolling blackouts across the country. Ukrainian Defense Minister Oleksiy Reznikov Kosher, said that the, over the course of the war Russia launched over 16,000 missiles at Ukraine with 97% of, of them aimed at civilian targets. Pfft, okay, and they were very accurate it seems like. Um, anyway, Oleksiy Danilov, another guy, Sele uh, Secretary of Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council, said that Moscow has enough missiles for three or four such large scale, scale attacks. That means war is over, man. This, if this is going to happen, supposedly, uh, they didn't give a time frame <laughs> for obvious fucking reasons, uh, because you can say, hey, where is that attack that you were talking about? But we're going to memorize. This is going to be the first one. We wait for maximum three more. And then when you get to strike four, that's done. Russia should be, as I said, would take their underwear off and wave them. We know all their poop and pee on it and say, hey, we don't want to, we're done because uh, Danny Love said so. Jesus Christ, do you believe that? I don't believe it. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to let you know that's for sure. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.